Good morning folks, I'm Dan. Another little uh, Builder Basics video. I think this is the second one that I've done. Uh, and it's about the order in which we build our airplane parts. When we start out this project, why we get in a, some aluminum and we built our form blocks and we have this great desire to turn all those pieces of aluminum from big sheets of aluminum into little pieces that are all these fancy little shiny form parts that we can go back and just do assembly and put them all together and, and think we're done with this airplane. The recurring theme that I'm hearing more and more from scratch builders is they've done that, they've gone through and they've formed all their form parts, all their ribs and, and things like that for wings, uh, elevators, flapper on slats, and you've done all your forming at once and then when you go back and finally start assembling these parts, while well, you get partially through the project and are a year or two or five down the road and you find out that th some of those ribs that you formed five years ago for whatever uh, assembly it was don't match up with with what the what you think they should be and it's because when we started building these we thought we knew what we needed to know and we didn't know crap I'm hearing more and more from builders who've been working on projects for quite some time that they're well into the project and then you hear them say that well they have to go back and they have to reform a slat ribs or whatever the case may be. In my case it's flapperons. I've uh, scrapped my flapperon skins which I cut to specs you know quite a while back when I got to assemble them why there was enough build up of tolerances in my ribs and, and that assembly that my skins were short so I ended up and scrapped a sheet of aluminum and I'm gonna have to do new skins for the flapperons so I could have left them oversized which wouldn't have been a bad thing to do I could have left a, a few an extra 10 or 15 millimeters and trimmed it off to fit and um, there wouldn't have been any problem at all but as it was I scrapped a hundred dollar sheet of aluminum so that's part of the game as a scratch builder you're gonna have that's gonna happen you're gonna go back and rebuild stuff I build all my all my uh, forms would be the first thing I do and you know all your cut blocks uh, form blocks and everything get those I, I do them all at once so even if you're a millimeter under a millimeter over which you shouldn't be you should be right on but if you are if you do have a tolerance issue there it's the percentage is going to be the same all the way along you're probably going to have cut the complete set of form blocks and cutting blocks to that same tolerance so they're going to match still um, after that I would go ahead and build the rudder which everybody builds whether it's the Zenith rudder workshop or that's the that's the first thing that's recommended building and it does build all the basic skills after that it depends on what you do I would not form all of my ribs for the entire airplane and cut all of my parts at that time I would work on it assembly by assembly so from there I'd probably do tail feathers um, because they're a relatively small assembly you build your knowledge along the way and you can get them built after that if you go on to the wings I'd build left and right wing together I'd form all those ribs at the same time rather than doing the left wing and then six months from now a year from now doing the right wing I would form all your ribs at the same time they're for the same reason they're going to be at the same tolerances you're going to have formed them basically the same way your techniques going to be about the same all the way through those where you may have refined your techniques or changed your techniques a little bit you know if you do one one set of wing ribs now and one six months or a year from now you may change that technique or or be forming things a little bit differently so i'd form all of the same at the same time that way they're going to come out basically the same so i would do them assembly by assembly if you've done all your parts for that whether uh whether it's ribs skins whatever the case may be things may have just you may have a buildup of tolerances over time of building the airplane so you may not be exactly the same all the way through be careful the order in which you build your components uh, we all like to see a full sheet of 4x12 aluminum get cut up into little pieces and make parts because then you can see you've made a lot of parts um, but I don't know that that's the best use of your time and the most efficient use of the money you've invested I think there can be some problems there if you do that so anyway quick little tip hopefully you can gain something from my ramblings here um, if these are helpful for you I hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up if you like and give me a thumbs down if you don't um, any comments you've got I encourage you to leave them in the comment section below and we'll answer them if we can thanks for taking the time to watch